Food chain. The food you eat gives you energy. The path that energy takes as it moves from the sun to the earth to plants to animals and back to the earth again is called the food chain. You are just one stop on that food chain. Photosynthesis is the first step in the food chain. It starts with producers. A producer is an organism, like a plant, that captures energy from the sun to help it make its own food. This process is called photosynthesis. The plants, roots, and leaves need water and sunlight for photosynthesis to work. In the leaves on a plant, there is something called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll traps light from the sun and reflects green light, which is why most plants are green. The roots of a plant then absorb the water from the soil around it. The water flows into tiny tubes in the plant and then up the stem. The tubes then send the water to the leaves where the sunlight is captured. Tiny holes in the leaves allow carbon dioxide to enter the plant. Carbon dioxide is a gas that is made of carbon and oxygen. It is in the air all around us. It is very important for plants. The plant releases the oxygen out of its leaves. The holes in the leaves open and close. They know how much carbon dioxide to let in and can also stop too much water from escaping. Using the chlorophyll, the plant then transforms water and carbon dioxide into carbohydrates or sugar, which gives the plant energy. That energy is now ready for the next stop on the food chain, which is the consumer. The consumer is the organism that eats the plant. All animals, including humans, are consumers. You are a consumer because you cannot use the sun's energy to make food for your own body like a plant can. You rely on the producer or the plant to make that energy for you. You then eat that plant and absorb the energy that is already in it. A primary consumer is an organism that directly eats the plants, like a cow. A secondary consumer is an animal that eats the primary consumer that eat the plant. Here's an example. A plant is the producer. A cow is a primary consumer because it ate the plant. You are a secondary consumer because you ate the cow that ate the plant. If you eat a piece of corn on the cob directly, then you become the primary consumer. You are also the primary consumer if you eat an apple strawberries, and other fruits, as well as any vegetables. That's because you are getting your energy directly from those plants. If you eat a hamburger, you become a secondary consumer because the cow, which is the place that hamburger came from, is the one that ate the plants first. The hamburger also gives you energy and nutrients. But you cannot eat the same nutrients from corn that a cow ate as you can from corn that you eat yourself. In the food chain, the energy in food is passed down from one consumer to the next. The food gives away some of its energy at each stop it makes. That's why it's important to eat your fruits and vegetables directly too. There are different types of consumers. They are grouped by the kinds of food that they eat. Herbivores are organisms that eat only plants and vegetables. Cows, deer, and elephants are examples. Carnivores eat other animals or only meat. Lions, tigers, bears, and seals are examples. An omnivore eats both plants and animals. Examples include humans, bears, and chickens. The last step or the very bottom of the food chain is the decomposers. Decomposers break down dead matter into substances that can be used by the producers or plants. Worms, insects, bacteria, and fungi are examples of decomposers. Decomposed matter returns to the soil and becomes food for the producers. Here is an example of a basic food chain. The plant is a producer because it provides its own food through energy from the sun. The mice are primary consumers because they get energy directly from the plant when they eat it. The owl is a secondary consumer 
because it gets its energy from the mice when it eats them. Once the owl dies, its body begins to decompose or go back into the soil. Decomposers such as worms, insects, and other organisms break down the matter from the owl's body and leave nutrients in the soil from that matter. The nutrients in the soil then enter the plant, and the food chain starts all over again. The next time you decide what to eat, think of the food chain and where your food came from. See if you are the primary consumer or the secondary consumer. How much energy will you get from the item you chose to eat? Remember, the better the food you eat, the better your body can perform. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.